Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. I have been indoors. I have had no contact with anyone or anything in the outside world for I pretty much have lost track. 10, 11 days, which means I have three, maybe four left before. <laughs> There's no reason. There's, no one has mandated me to stay inside for two straight weeks. I did it as a little bit of an experiment. Make no, there, make no if, ands, or buts. After this is over, I will be going through drive throughs I will be getting more groceries, and I will be doing things on the outdoors in small portions. But for now, I'm still inside these walls, and I'm running low on rations, on food, it's crunch time. Are you ready for something that I have you you have never seen before, pirate? Yes. He's ready. Are you ready? I'm inviting you. Okay, you can go away now. To join me as I cook a frozen pizza made for the oven in the microwave because my oven is not working, nor is the top portion. I cannot broil. I cannot put anything on the top of it. Shall you? Just a little update. This is all I have to consume through the rest of this tenure. Now I know I could go purchase another oven, like a toaster oven, to go on top of the regular oven that's not working currently. But I'm not leaving the homestead. That's part of this. And these have been calling my name. I have consumed some Hot Pockets. Back to those Red Barons momentarily. This, this are, these are the cupboards. This is what we're dealing with for three or four, I lost, three or four more days. Earth Day or the day after Earth Day. I will be venturing outside of my house into civilization, at least on a small scale. So this has to get me through what you've seen in the fridge, in the freezer, and in this one cupboard are the ration supply. Quality since 1976. You will notice no instructions whatsoever for anything other than a rack or pan method. No microwave method listed listed on here not too thick not too thin with just the right amount of crunch there might not be a whole heck of a lot of crunch when i'm done with this thing the way i'm going to procure it but these are odd times classic crust 100 percent real cheese preservative free crust no artificial flavors 22.95 ounces. I don't know if that includes the box. I'm going to take it out of the box and the plastic wrap and whatever else other than edibles out of it. Two cheeses, sausage, mushrooms, pepperoni, black olives, green and red peppers, and onions. The sausage is made with pork and chicken. Pepperoni is made with pork chicken. Don't forget the beef. I just realized I might be I need to get out. After I cut the wrap off and expose the goodness here, I'm gonna let it thaw for just a few minutes and do a little, little working out that I've also been doing. And just let that, what's well, been sitting in the freezer for a while, you see some little ice particles on it. Hope it's not freezer burned. Then again, I'm cooking it in a non-traditional way, so I probably won't even notice the difference. But this is going in my belly. Ah, uh, yeah. All the way down, like that. Uh. Yeah. <sighs> 
I get what you're saying through the mind meld that you're forcing through your plastic noggin into mine. You do not approve of my microwavable methods, but I have no choice. I'm in need, I'm in need, Colonel. Your delicious chicken, your pickup or drive through would be very much more tasty. But the time has not come yet. But I understand your concern, Colonel. I understand Mr. Harlan's concern, as stated right there on this vintage. Okay, I gotta get to the pizza, Colonel. After that small amount of time, looks as if the ice is melting. I think it might be good enough. Now, I'm not gonna consume this whole thing. I'm gonna cut it into four slices and probably eat half of this. Which the interesting thing will be that I will be reheating later on at a future time frame something, it, are we reheating it in the microwave of something that was cooked in the microwave that's not supposed to be in the microwave. The inside of this contraption is pretty decent size. It should be able to fit the whole pie in here. It did not come with a cardboard bottom, nor do I have a plate big enough. So I'm gonna put the pizza right on this tray itself, even if I had a cardboard bottom. I don't think you're, I don't know if you're supposed to put cardboard in these. Maybe you can, I don't, I don't know. Let's just slide this bad boy off. Ooh! Oh, I lost a, what is this over here? It was a mushroom, but the counter was clean as is the interior of this. So put the, the lost mushroom. None of this food will go to waste. Okay, I'm having trouble here. Okay, Okay, there we go, so it's solid. It's locked in. Locked in, okay, is that how it goes? Nope, it's not. What the heck? It's like a puzzle piece. Those, those notches have to fit, fit right on there. Get in there, notches. Come on, notches. What, get in there, notches. There it is, 11 minutes, counting it down, and see what happens, 10.55 and counting. You know, times are peculiar when this is fascinating to myself, and maybe even to you. You could get hypnotized by those pepperoni slices spinning in succession in a perpendicular is that counter or regular clock? In some sort of clockwise or counterclockwise fashion. That would be counter. Yeah, that would be counterclockwise. As it kind of goes, if you're looking straight on at it, it would be to the left. So a counterclockwise method. Except you dropped a piece of cheese. Man, I did. I dropped a piece of cheese. That's all right. Because the colonel is not happy with me. But deal with it, Colonel. You're gonna have to just deal with it. That's not me saying that, Colonel. That's the Baron. I'm really disappointed that I forgot that piece of cheese. In all honesty, I don't know why I chose the time frame I did. I just thought 10 minutes might suffice and 12 might be too much. So started at 11 and we got 8.15 to go. Quite an aroma of smells. Almost like the Pied Piper of pizza. I have to... <laughs> what is wrong with me? This is what we are resorting to, folks. April of 2020 has come to this. You're watching. I'm creating content, if you want to call it. But most importantly, I'm going to feed my stomach, which is vital. To reiterate, I cannot wait until Earth Day or maybe a day after, around Earth Day, when this 14-day inside period has come to an end, and I will get some fresh air, walks, maybe some hikes that are allowed, 
grocery store visits and drive throughs and pickups. Some, a lot of places are starting to have pickups outside where you can pull your car up as long as you're wearing the mask, which I do have. Well, I ordered some, they should be here soon. By the time I go outdoors, pull up, drive the, roll the window down, get a delicious meal. That's not microwaved, that's not made to be. Okay, back to the pizza. We got six minutes to go. Well, 5.58 now. Oh, look at that, it's starting to drip over the side. Oh, crud. I just saw a chunk of cheese. It's starting to nestle itself over the edge. Right there. I might have a little bit of a mess on that tray in five minutes and 37 seconds from now. Maybe I'm cooking this too long. The steam is fogging up. Okay, the steam was fogging up the lens, but the lens managed to work it out. Okay, you see the piece over here? Five minutes and 27 seconds when I open the door. I think it's working. Heck yeah, I think it might be working. I'm gonna close it back and continue, but not before slide. Oh, I can't slide it over. It's stuck, oh, that's hot, that's hot. As you can tell from the background noise, it's circulating once again, counting it down. I got my spatula, which shamefully did not purchase from Spatula City, Spatula City, and my slicer. The wheel of slicing. It's just a term I just made up. Now it appears to really be starting to drip over the sides. I should have slid it over just a little more so it's centered. Or maybe it was centered and the heat and time frame has caused it to shift off, oh, shift off its axis. Almost got distracted by how much of that is hanging off the side. Drum roll, please. Okay, drum roll initiated. 34 seconds and it's bubbling like a son of a gun. Gurgling. I hear lots of gurgling and I see lots of gurgling. 10, nine, eight, it's not in focus. Seven, six, five, four. Yes, yes. It happened. First impression. It does not look too bad. I don't know what the bottom looks like. Okay, it is a little overcooked over here. Might not be properly cooked in the middle and overcooked over here, but it's finished. Looks identical to the promoted product, doesn't it? Just nod your head yes, just nod your head <laughs> yes. Slightly warm on the undercarriage. So I got my mitt. You're not supposed to eat that mitt. That's for me. Be gone, mitt. Be gone. When I want some. The real test will be to flip it. Whoa. Flip it up and look under. Eh. I don't know. I guess. This looks okay. Whoa, it is. Oh, this is overcooked. This part is very, very overcooked. Very overcooked on the sides. Oh yeah, it's 11 minutes might have been too much. There's no turning back now. Oh, that is overcooked. Give me a little something for Later on, oh, fail. Flip back over there. Dang. Some leftovers for down the road. Whoa, get on there. Get on there, slice. Put those in the fridge. And these are about to be consumed. Adding something to the refrigerator for the first time in quite a while. Still haven't touched these Mountain Dews yet. Normally, a soda pop and a pizza pie is pretty good, but I don't know, I just haven't been craving them. On to the plate you must shuffle. One, ooh, look at this, there's a little piece here. Can't forget that, gotta 
scrape that off. Oh yeah. It just peel. Oh, it just kind of peels right off there. I think this might be edible. That's hot. Without a doubt, not as crispy as would normally be in an oven. And might be a little doughy right through there. But all in all, I mean, I haven't taken a bite yet, but... Okay, let's try it. Worst case scenario, I could always just heat it up a little more. It would go back to the same spot that it was. The proof is in the pie. The proof is in the pie. Holy cow. Not bad. A little mushy on that end, this end. I'm gonna say I probably should have done maybe nine minutes, maybe ten minutes, and rotated it, maybe took it. I don't know what rotating would have worked. Maybe maybe nine or ten minutes. But this is not too shabby. It is edible. And I'm gonna continue. I don't know if I would approve if you have other options for cooking this. But if there's no other choice. This works. Not as toasted on the bottom, obviously, but... I would do this again, and honestly, I just might. That's gonna do it for today. If you I need water. And give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video of the vlog.